This is the introduction to section 3.8, part 1, where we're going to start talking about relating slope to parallel and perpendicular lines. And this is nothing that's new. You've done this before. You did this in Algebra 1 last year. And we're going to hit on some topics where we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines and finding equations and all those things. But here in part 1, we're going to talk about uh, parallel lines. So you can determine whether two lines are parallel or perpendicular by comparing their slopes. So when two lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. This is a very important part right here that you might want to highlight in your notes. Lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. Now, a little review. How do you find slope? Remember, the slope is the letter M. If I have the slope of two ordered pairs, x1, y1, and x2, y2, we are going to take and subtract the y values, y2 minus y1, Divide it by the subtraction of the x values to find the slope. That's a very important thing to make sure that you have written down there because you are going to have to find the slope of certain lines. Okay, So, key concept here. It says if two non-vertical lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. Non-vertical means not straight up and down. Okay, All right, non-vertical. It says if the slopes of two distinct non-vertical lines are equal, then the lines are parallel. And also, any two vertical lines or horizontal lines are parallel. Remember, vertical is straight up and down. Horizontal is left to right. Those are parallel as well. Now, let's take a look here at identifying slopes of lines in a coordinate plane. So, we have to be able to figure out which slopes are negative, positive, undefined, and zero slope. So let's talk about negative. Negative, going from left to right, you're going down. In other words, it's looking like this right there. Okay. Positive slope from left to right, you are going up the mountain. Slope is going to look like this. Okay, left to right. Slope is going in a positive direction. Slope is going in a negative direction. You're either going up the mountain or you're going down the mountain. Undefined slope is very simply put, it is undefined because you can't divide by zero. In this case, think of it this way, you can't walk up a wall. So if you had a wall, a wall is straight up and down. In other words, this is a vertical line. A vertical line has undefined slope. You think about it, you can't walk up a wall without, without help. Okay, Zero slope is when you take zero divided by a number. It's very simply, this is a horizontal line. And it's zero slope. You think of this as walking on the floor. If you're walking on the floor, you're not going up, you're not going down. You're walking on the same plane all the way through. So these lines here we want to identify... Which of these lines are positive, negative, and undefined and zero? So, as I look for the negative slope lines, you will see one line that is negative in this case, and it's letter J. From left to right, it's going down. So, letter J is negative slope. Positive slope. From left to right, it's going up. Happens to be letter K. Okay. Undefined slope. Lines that are straight up and down. Happen to be letter N and letter Y. Those two lines are undefined slope. And then zero slope are the lines that go from left to right, which in this case happen to be letter L and letter X. So those are zero slope lines that are going left to right. Okay, find the slope of line A. In this case, find the slope of line A and line C. Well, line A, you want to find two points that are on this line. So the two points that are on this line, on line A, are the point 4, 6, and the point 0, 2. This point right here, and this point right here. Those are the two points that are on line A, which you'll notice here is line A right here. So I want to find the slope of these two lines. Again, when I find the slope of these two lines, I'm going to take y value, 6 minus 2, divided by the x values, 4 minus 0. 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 0 is 4, 
So my slope of line A is 1. Okay, slope of line C. So as you look at line C, line C is right here. So I need to find two points that are on line C, which happen to be the ordered pair 0, 6, and the ordered pair 4, 6. So again, I want to find the slope. Take my y values, subtract them on the top, 6 minus 6, divided by the x values on the bottom, 4 minus 0, which 6 minus 6 is 0, divided by 4. So in this case, this one has a slope of 0. Again, it's a horizontal line, so it's going to have a slope of 0. All right, what I want you to do is hit pause, see if you can find the slopes of line D and line B, and then come back and check to see if your answer is correct. Okay, now that you hit pause, let's take a look. Line B, i got to find two points that are on line B, which happen to be the ordered pairs 4, 6, and the ordered pairs 7, 3. So to find the slope here, take my y values on the top. So I take 6 minus 3 over the x values on the bottom, 4 minus 7. So 6 minus 3 is 3. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So in this case, this happens to be negative 1 slope. So it has a slope of negative 1. All right, line D. Line D, as you look at line D, here's line D. Find two points on line D. I've got the ordered pairs 4, 6, and I have the ordered pair 4, 0. And I want to find the slope. Again, subtract the y values on top, 6 minus 0, over 4 minus 4, which happens to give me 6 divided by 0. And again, since I <coughs> cannot divide by 0, this slope is what we call undefined. Okay, the last part here of slopes that are parallel is we got to find the equations. So, I'm going to have some steps here for you that we're going to put together. So, first step is we want to identify the slope of the line given. Okay, identify the slope of the line given. Then, you're going to use your new slope. And the point to write a new line. And what we're going to do is we're going to use what we call point slope form. Because we have a point and a slope. Now, point slope form is this. Y minus Y1 equals m times x minus x1. And what we're going to do is once you find that slope, we're going to substitute it in. And then 4 would be solve for y. Okay, so as you look at this equation right here, this is in the slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b. And slope intercept form, the m is the slope and the B is the y-intercept. Well, right now, step number one says identify the slope of the line. So if you identify the slope of the line, the slope of the line is negative 3. Okay? That's going to be the slope of the line that we're going to create. And it's going to go through the ordered pair, negative 1 and 8. Okay? Because we're going to use negative 3 for slope simply because our slopes are parallel, which means they're the same. Okay? So now, I'm going to plug in what I know, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 into those equations. Now again, this is x1, this is y1. So when I plug them in, I get y minus 8 equals the slope of negative 3 times x minus x1 is negative 1. So in other words, it's really x plus 1. Now I'm going to distribute and solve for y. So I get y minus 8 
equals negative 3x minus 3, because I distribute the 3. And then when I add 8 to each side, I get y equals negative 3x and plus 5. And this is the line that's parallel to this one. And it goes through the point negative 1, 8. Okay, so we talked about parallel slopes. We talked about how to find slope. We talked about how to find the equation of a line that's parallel. This concludes section 3.8. Don't forget to complete your WSQ.